I really fancy teaching you some new expressions. Hello, this is Amrita, your ESL teacher. Welcome to TESOL 3 Minute English. Today, we are going to learn some new expressions. Instead of just saying I want, you can use different expressions to sound like a native English speaker. Also, if you want to add some variety in your speech, then you will have to use some new expressions that native the speakers often use in their speech. So let's learn. Expression number one. I could really do it. I could really do it. Instead of just saying I want it, you can use this expression. For example, I'm so tired. I can't walk more. So I can say I could really do with a taxi. Expression number two. I'm in the mood for that means I want to do something. So instead of saying I want, you can use this expression as well. I'm in the mood for watching a Chinese movie. I'm in the mood for watching a Chinese movie. I'm in the mood for watching a Chinese movie. The reason I have repeated this one expression thrice because I want you to repeat after me three times so that you can remember it when you need it. Expression number three. I feel like. I feel like talking to my best friend. I feel like talking to my best friend. That means I want to talk to my best friend. So instead of saying I want to talk to my best friend, you can use this. I feel like talking to my best friend. Expression number four. I really fancy. I really fancy learning some new expressions. I really fancy learning some new expressions. So, if you want to say that, I want to learn some new expressions to sound like a native English speaker, you can use this expression. I really fancy for learning some new expressions to sound like a native English speaker. Expression number five. I to kill for, that means I really want it, I do want it. I would kill for having a haircut like her. I like her hairstyle a lot. I would kill for having a haircut like her. That means I want to have a hairstyle like her. Expression number six. I'm dying for. That means I really do want something. Instead of saying I want it, you can use this expression. But remember, this is strong expression. If you want to have something uh, so much, then you can use this expression. I'm dying for. For example, I'm dying for watching a Chinese movie. Or I'm dying for having a spicy pizza. Expression number seven, I'm up for. That means I'm ready. Okay, that means I want something. I'm up for watching a Korean movie. I'm up for watching a Korean movie. I hope you have found these expressions quite useful for you. Okay, see you soon with some new expressions. Till then, take care.